YouTube's hitting me up saying, Tom, where's the new video? Where's the video? You might want to go see it before YouTube takes this mother effort down. Because we said some crazy stuff. Go check it out. Your America. It's on Adam's channel. Let's go. Another video right after American Flags? Nice. Let's uh, see what all the fuss is about. Now, I've been a fan of Tom's for a little while now, so... Obviously, he's the king of controversy, but if he's saying YouTube might take this one down, all right, let's check it out. I also want to say thank you so much for all of the support you had on my last video with American Flags and with Dirty Money. I do music video breakdowns of all different kinds of artists, as well as my long form videos on politics. And obviously when I first found Tom's music, I didn't really think about making content about it. I just appreciated the message on a personal level. When I am feeling alone in this world, like I'm the only one who thinks like me and that everyone else is just blind, I turn on some Tom McDonald and I always feel better because someone gets it. Thanks again to the Hog Fam for being here. And if you are new, make sure to sub, follow, like. So yeah, I can be more integrated with the community because y'all are really awesome. All right. They're screaming that they hate America and we're the reason. If you don't feel safe, then stop defunding the policemen. You calling us extremists because our words have hurt your feelings. And we're sorry we can't hear you over the sound of our freedom. Y'all been filling up our classrooms with drag queens for kids. We think it's not appropriate. You tell us that it is. The complexities of gender and children won't ever mix when there's school shootings by women whose pronouns are him, his. Okay. Um... Uh, that, of course, is in reference to the Tennessee tragedy. Waiting on that manifesto that we will never get, probably, or if we do, everything will be so redacted, we'll never know what it originally said. Wow, already talking about the drag queens and school situation as well. He's 100% right. This ideology being pushed onto children, learning sexuality and orientation in schools for kids at school age is extremely inappropriate. It is detrimental to young people for these... <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> Sorry, my cat. Yeah, it's detrimental to young minds. Also, when you have situations like Francis Parker in Illinois, to be honest, I don't know if this is gonna divide my audience or not, but at its core, I don't think that drag is a bad thing. Um, I think of drag as any other sort of performative art, but it is adult entertainment. It, it makes no sense at all. A drag queen performs in a nightclub for adults. I don't know. I, I don't understand how the lines have been blurred here. I think that the abusers are hiding in the left right now, and people always want to bring up like the Catholic Church as as the argument for that. But like, remember, the Catholic Church has been exposed publicly. That's how these leftists know about it, to use it as an example. And also, now there is a magnifying glass on the Catholic Church because of that. But we have to remember that most of the situations where that happened, where those kids were abused, it was the pastors and young boys. So is that a Catholic problem or is that, again, a gay problem? Sorry, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I'm LGBT, by the way. I am LGBT, but I've been called all of the names because I say the truth. My director editor brain went off a little bit on this part because it's really really cool oh the captions aren't available yet but basically here he says you know we can't hear you over the sound of our freedom and it kind of does this fade this is a little bit more in, like the normal kind of uh, video breakdowns i do on this channel i look at it from the eyes of a director because i've directed many music videos in the past with a smaller local artist and so i really love noticing these these details and nova's so amazing I really like how she did the blending, the editing here to kind of represent the drowning out of all of the vitriolic hatred and all this nonsense that is getting spewed at people, you know, extremists, you know, all these names and words that don't mean anything to people that are just trying to love the country, be patriots and save it from its own annihilation. Great job on that for sure. Side note, remember, so many of the people, at least on the internet, I can't speak for the Antifas that are out and about or whatever, they're really the feds. You know, the people that are out there trying to cause a ruckus in, in the streets. But I know, I have found out that on the internet, 
There's a huge percentage of bots on the internet, actual bots created by a bunch of sleaze balls, probably in a basement or government funded, who knows? But there are a lot of bots who say the same stuff over and over again. They just want to cause division. So people like us don't find each other. So we can stay divided and we can feel hopeless. Like we are outnumbered, but we're not. We are the silent majority of uh, people who feel this way, I think. Um, the ones that know that drag is not for children and want to keep sexuality away from children. We are the silent majority, I think, and we're becoming more vocal. And uh, so they have literally have bots online or people are actually paid to cause conflict on the internet too. So people have jobs typing up a, a bunch of BS to make you angry on the internet. There are people being paid to divide our country. So this is just a side note, but when you hear things on the internet, just ignore it because the odds of them not actually being a real person is really high. <laughs> or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. I've, I've been called everything. I don't care anymore. People who are in my comments hating on me, calling me all of these names are either bots, absolutely miserable with their own lives. So they have to take it out on me or they're paid to cause conflict. So talk it up boost me in the algorithm because it'll only help me find other like-minded people. And if that's you, thank you for being here. As far as defunding the police goes, I know um, policemen. I've known, I've known people in the force and also my grandfather was in the police force. My uncle was in the police force. Not all police are bad. I hate this ACAB BS because it's just not true. A lot of the police are there to protect the citizens and they do it because they care you know all all of these people who are saying all cops are bad like what are you doing to protect people of course there are bad apples but it's just not fair to blame the many for the one um in general i think black lives matter they think white lives matter less and lgbtq turned into wtf dear democrats i don't have nothing against the liberal but the people representing you are communists and criminals they've been starting world war three we shipping missiles still they don't want america great they want it miserable you can try to burn down the city scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy you can cancel everything and everybody in it but it's not your america you can burn the flag get aggressive you can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive i got my first amendment don't forget i got the second it's not your america Sheesh. i think black lives matter they think white lives matter less i feel that i've talked on this channel before about the whole how many people got scammed from the black lives matter movement yes black lives matter of course but yeah i i feel like that rhetoric is a propaganda statement because it's a it's a statement that everyone can and should get behind right so the implications of that and of course tom has talked about it too you know if, it, if you guys have listened to tom's music i don't have to explain myself but if but for this for some reason if someone has just found my channel and they're just listening to tom for the first time or just listening to me for the first time i know for a fact that the organization is crooked they made millions and millions of dollars uh scammed people the social pressure was insane i had a bunch of social pressure as a content creator from other content creators calling me a racist if i didn't put hashtag blm in my name it was just like and it only has really progressed disdain for people who don't have the right shade you know that don't have the right pigment and it and it really is just the complete opposite of what the movement was about or what it was supposed to be about you know maybe it was all planned to go this way but <laughs> Damn words i never heard in life kids go to school to learn never make it back home they get murdered like who's concerned not the left or the right hope you're ready for the fight coming to your front door tonight the former president got arrested the current one lost but i guess he got elected kids get molested files all get protected and you can kill a baby anytime if you're pregnant people so weak feel free to take a knee and you can't even speak god forbid you disagree i don't even know what virtual signaling means young men used to fight wars now they make memes i can see why now that Tom was saying that this one might get taken down because, you know, big tech doesn't want you talking about this stuff. They don't want you to know that children are in danger of trafficking and and being hurt by people, you know, and it's not just, you know, the ones that are in schools and drag queens. Big tech is trying to keep you blind to what is going on, to the 
targeting of children because I mean I've had that personally happen on this channel when I talk about sound of freedom my videos get taken down or put down on the algorithm my comments get disabled without my permission this is a battle of good and evil right now that we're in it shouldn't be a political issue at this point uh politics shouldn't be involved this is morality this is a war of good and evil yeah they're saying things that big tech doesn't want you to hear you know the big socials instagram facebook youtube they don't want you talking about this stuff right we still don't have the list we still don't have that manifesto we still don't have that client list you know remember the biggest trafficking organization ever and only one woman got arrested it goes so deep and a lot of people aren't willing to look there are organizations that are trying their best to expose these things um i hope you all have seen sound of freedom if you have seen sound of freedom uh, comment down below and let me know what you thought. Um, also, let me know what you think about this music video too. I think it's very beautifully done and I think they're saying things that need to be said. I hope it doesn't get taken down by YouTube. They'll attack small channels like me and no one will even notice that I was gone on a grand scale, which is the sad part. It makes smaller channels like myself nervous about going forward, about talking about these things. Like when I started switching into politics was actually because I had a personal experience with a child abuser and you can read that story i'll link it in the description i wrote out with screenshots and everything but it's really tough you know that is pure evil i've personally witnessed one of those types of people get protected i have i've seen it that's true it's not conspiracy theory they are protected because the people that make the choices in our law system are also abusers like them and the corruption does go all the way up to the top. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> uh, these people need to be stopped. Uh, they need to be exposed. The first step to exposing these people is talking about it. And big tech and the government will do everything they can to invalidate you or try to stop you from talking about it. So that's why I have alt platforms like Rumble account. I have a Rumble account. So in case I'm ever just gone one day, you guys can find me there. But um. Yeah, I appreciate that they went there. And I'm also glad that I'm making this video in case their video doesn't exist for much longer. Anyway, let's continue. Divide us up, I'm pretty sure that's the plan. Got a gun in my hand for when shit hits the fan. And how the woman of the year is a man. I'm pretty sure I never really understand. You can try to burn down the city. Scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy. You can cancel everything and everybody in it. But it's not yours. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive. I got my first amendment, don't forget I got the second. It's not your America. You told us we're the ones to blame. You're the ones who riot till the city's up in flames. You told us we've been spreading lies, but you believe the truth is on the news every night. You told us we gotta stop the fighting, but you're the ones who keep the country angry and divided. I got goosebumps. <laughs> crazier than you. But all of our conspiracy theories are coming true You can try to burn down the city Aye. Scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy You can cancel everything and everybody in it But it's not your America Honestly, I will vote for whatever party is against the medicalization of children, throwing them into the hands of Big Pharma and therefore, you know, making them targets for traffickers and abusers. I am on whatever side of the political spectrum is going in that direction. <laughs> That's just that. I don't think that anyone should have complete loyalty to either side. I've made a few shorts about that, but I think both sides can be corrupt. And I, I also think that, you know, the big dogs on both sides are both funded by the same people or entities or yeah so i'm not really into the whole party loyalty idea i wish that there were more options hi baby my kitty's here oh yeah and the fact that we are giving money to aid a war in ukraine instead of helping the american people my mother is a veteran okay my uncle my grandfather who were both policemen were also veterans army navy it's just, it's horrible what the country has become. These people, our parents, our grandparents who are in the military, the people in our generation that have served, they, this is not what they served for. You know, this is not the country that they spent their life protecting. 
And it's really sad, especially how I've seen my mother being treated as a veteran. It's it's honestly disgusting. <laughs> it's really sad. You can burn the flag and aggressive. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive. I got my first amendment. Don't forget I got the second. It's not your America. Nice. Wow, that was awesome. Mm, hard to say. I really liked American Flags too, but that one was so heartfelt. Wow, that was really, really great. I appreciate you guys being here. Never forget the muzzles they made you wear for what, two, three years. Some people are still wearing them. I want to say that um, this is a very beautiful location that they picked out. Shout out to Nova as well. It almost has that feeling of like America is kind of broken and it feels like it's run down, but then these two individuals are a beacon of hope in the country to stand strong and take the pieces that we have and build it back up. Kind of like um, muted colors and not as intense as their usual video projects. The camera work is a lot smoother. The general feeling of the music and the video is softer and uh, more heartfelt. I respect veterans so much and it is my job, I think, while I'm still young, to use my voice, to use my free speech, to try to reach out and share some truth and fight the good fight for the veterans who fought for our freedom to fight this good fight. Tom and Adam are giving us some inspirational words that we all need right now. We need to come together as a country and fight to keep our children safe and healthy, even if they're kicking and screaming at us about it. <laughs> I have lost some good friends. I thought they were good friends. People that had been in my life for over a decade over over these subjects, honestly, it's, it's really sad. Um, yeah, that child abuser that was, you know, hurting and exploiting minors uh, for photos and videos and relations behind my back. I had no idea about it. Um, when people like that are able to get away with these heinous behaviors, it poisons everything around them. You know, relationships with your friends, family too. And, you know, I lost some of my longest friends ever through that experience because that's when you see who's really on the side of good versus evil. And, you know, I can hope that one day they'll come around and realize that I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I am not crazy. I have just personally experienced the law being on the side of the abuser. And, you know, they can go live their narcissistic, comfortable, but miserable life. You know, people who think I'm spreading the wrong types of messages. Like the message that I want to share to the world is that young men and women need to be protected and healthy at all costs, that it is okay to love who you are, no matter your gender, no matter your orientation, no matter your skin color. All of those things should not matter. But, you know, people are just obsessed with feeling like they need a a marginalized card or a victim card and they're willing to push me aside or any rational thinking individual for trying to just be honest don't hate someone for saying that two plus two equals four even though you've double think to yourself into it being five i don't want to see america turn into a totalitarian state if we let the government take one right away, they will take them all away. It's a domino effect. And the reason why people who are hardcore leftists who won't budge an inch is because that was their move the whole time. Give an inch, take a mile. So that's why there is a zero tolerance policy on their end to give back because that's what they did was we gave an inch, they took a mile. So now they know that if they give an inch, then we would have the ability to try to take a mile, even though a few miles perhaps should be taken. I think the people that aren't just straight up abusers themselves are just narcissistic idiots. 
And what they don't realize is the powers that be will find something that they don't like about them too. You know, they might start, you know, shutting up all the bigots, but that's the thing about a totalitarian state. They'll find something wrong with you too eventually. And eventually they will be thanking us for fighting to keep these rights. <laughs> Even if they are kicking and screaming like babies the whole time. <laughs> this was emotional. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video, share it with a friend. All my links will be down below. I appreciate you. Hog fam, can't wait to see what these two bring in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.